Hey guys, this is Maliha from the Site Blogger, and today I have a quick tutorial about how to do something on SiteGround. Now, SiteGround is a hosting company, and uh, if this is Greek to you, here's a little bit of context. So, those of you who have been following me for any time, you know that I host my website, the Site Blogger, on self hosted. WordPress. WordPress is a content management system and I use it personally and I recommend it because it is by far the best. It is not the easiest, um, but you know, with, um, how should I put it, with superiority sometimes, um, complexity follows. So that's why WordPress is not the easiest platform, but it is definitely one of the most superior and it's not that hard I mean, when I say it's not the easiest, it doesn't mean naturally that it's hard. It's that it, it has a little bit of a learning curve, but once you get a hang of it, everything is kind of intuitive. So, you know, it's, it's only the start that's a little hard if you're a total beginner, but once you get a hang of it, it's pretty easy. So, um, those of you who are WordPress users, and for those of you who are not WordPress users, you should be. Um, but anyway, um, so self-hosted WordPress, um, again, terminology, um, there are two different WordPresses. One is not self-hosted, which I do not recommend. The one that I recommend is self-hosted. And it means that you have to actually rent hosting space. And that's where site, SiteGround comes into um, the discussion. There are plenty of hosting companies out there. Um, personally, I use SiteGround and I really like them and I recommend them. So the site blogger, this website, my website, it is hosted on SiteGround. Now, today's tutorial is about a very specific feature of SiteGround. It has to do with backing up your website. Here's what I mean. So those of you who have any knowledge of WordPress, self-hosted WordPress, you know that one of the downsides of WordPress is that sometimes you have to update things. Sometimes you have to update the WordPress version. Sometimes you have to update plugins. So for example, as you can see, this is my WordPress dashboard. So it's the background of my website and I have a bunch of plugins that require um, upgrading. And this is annoying, but I try to do that once every week or every couple of weeks or so. So once I have a lot of plugins, it, it you know, it's just, it becomes a little annoying that you have to update them. Now, the best method is to um, update one plugin one at a time. So for example, if you go to plugins on your dashboard, you will, just click one and then click update plugin, click another one, update plugin. So that's the best way to do it. But before that, the best thing to do is to keep a backup of your website. So for example, if you update a plugin and let's say that something didn't go right during the update or it, it doesn't happen often, like I have had my website for five plus years and it only happens maybe once or twice a year at most, sometimes not even that. Um, I, and that has to do with me using good plugins, first of all, reputable, uh, reputable pl plugin um, creators. So things don't usually go wrong. Things don't break as often as say people who use a plugin and don't really check whether the plugins are reputable or not, um, if they keep things updated or not. So there's that. But assuming that you have um, you have vetted your plugin and they're good plugins, then you don't have to worry about your website breaking all that much. But that said, it's still good practice because just in case something goes wrong, it's good practice that you make a backup of your website. Now, if you are on site ground, then backing up your website is super easy because um, your hosting plans, so for example, if I go to um, hosting, 
and um, right now um, I'm at logged in so you can save but let's go to site ground pricing that way I can show you what I'm talking about um, so if you go to hosting WordPress hosting and you look at the hosting features then you'll see that um, every site ground plan comes with daily backups so even the cheapest one the startup which is for first-time customers it's only $1.99 per month um, although I do recommend grow big it's $3.99 but it's it's much better but every site ground plan comes with daily automatic backup now if you're on grow big then you have an additional um, benefit is on-demand backup copies it means that on top of SiteGround automatically backing up your website every single day you can also create on-demand backup copies you can just click a button and I'm going to show you how to do that and SiteGround will create a backup for you that's one of the reasons why I recommend that people go with the grow big option because I love that I can always back up my website whenever I want on top of having SiteGround automatically backing up my site every single day. Um, it is also 30% faster, um, comes with other features too, but yeah, the grow big is my personal favorite for um, first time um, users of uh, SiteGround. Anyway, so let's go back to my logged in version. So I have um, I have SiteGround, I am logged in, and here's what I do. Before I um, update any of my plugin, just to be sure, I go to SiteGround and I create a backup and then I upgrade my plugins so that if anything happens, if anything bad happens, um, then I can, with a single click, go back to the previous version. And let me show you, show you what I mean. So let's go to Websites. And this is actually not my primary SiteGround account. I have two SiteGround, SiteGround accounts. One of them is for my website, the Site Blogger, But the one that I'm showing you right now, it's for a different one. But the features, the back back and uh, your SiteGround dashboard looks exactly the same. So here's what you have to do. When you log into SiteGround, go to Websites tab, click Site Tools, and then when you're on Site Tools, click, um, click Security, and then click Backups. And then, as you can see, um, SiteGround has been backing up my website every single day. And you can see that over here um, every single day, like, you know, December 1, November 30, November 29, November 28. All of these are backups. But if I'm about to upgrade my plugins, what I'm going to do is because let's just say that um, my uh, my website has been updated but I made some changes I maybe I posted a new blog post between yesterday and today when I'm backing up my uh, when I'm upgrading my uh, plugins so I don't want to go back to uh, yesterday's backup because then I'm gonna lose whatever changes I have made so what I will do is I will create a new backup so let's say um, December 2 um, custom or manual whatever it doesn't matter what name you give it's just I'm just doing this just to know um, uh, just to keep my you know remember what backup I'm making and usually you have like five slots available uh, for custom backups and if you need more you can always delete an older one and then make a new one I've never gone you know I have never had to use five custom backups just just so you're clear so once you give it a backup uh, name just hit the create button and it takes a few minutes and depending on how big your website is sometimes it may take a little longer but um, let's see hopefully it goes quick 
So it's basically creating the background of your it's uh, of your website. It's creating an exact copy of the website at the time you hit the create button. Whatever your website is, um, it will back everything up. So let's just say that you're, there was an automated backup yesterday and you're ch making some changes today. Um, and then you are you don't want to lose whatever changes you have made when you hit the create button it will create a backup of exactly what's on your website right now so even if you have to go back you are not going to lose anything so anyway so backup has been created as it as you can see it's telling you and in the list this one was not there um just a few seconds ago um and as you can see under type it says manual so all the other ones say system 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 and you know that those are the automated backups and the manual is the one that you just created now you can go back to your website dashboard and you can update all of your plugins typically one by one and then once you once you update one plugin check your website to see that everything looks great um, if it doesn't, then something is wrong, then you can go back and you can, um, this is what you can do. You can um, click the three dots and then restore all files and data databases. What happens when you click that button? You can do other things, restore files, restore databases, restore emails, or you can delete. I just go ahead and do restore, restore all files and databases, you know, if you're not savvy about you know exactly which files you need to uh, restore which databases and whatnot it's just easier to do restore all files and if you're if you're in doubt if you're not sure what's what's happening just click restore all files and databases if you click that then it goes back to the copy that you just created it will give you it will ask you like do you actually want to restore all files and databases Yes, confirm. If something has gone wrong during the update process, when, when you're updating either the any either a plugin or a WordPress version or whatever, then you can click that, go ahead, confirm the backup restore, and then again, wait a few seconds. But what happens is that it restores the version to even if you break something during the update process, um, it will simply restore it to whatever backup you had just created and your website will start functioning as usual. This will give you a chance to go and, you know, um, maybe see what happened if some, if some plugin update went wrong or, you know, you need to talk to your developer and see what's wrong if you're not sure what's going on. This is, this is this backup creating a backup and then having the ability to restore gives you a peace of mind you need that even if something goes wrong during the backup during the upgrade process using the backup restore tool on site ground you can easily go back to a version of your website that was per, uh, performing perfectly so hopefully that makes sense um so yeah that's today's uh tutorial and it was something that someone had asked not long ago so i figured i'll just make a video of it uh hopefully it was useful to you and that's it um i will actually leave a link to um sideground hosting so you know if you're not happy with your hosting or if your hosting doesn't come with um custom backup and whatnot, then I think you should really consider switching to a hosting where you can actually do this thing. You can actually perform um, creating manual backups and restoring on demand, basically. Um, and as I said, you can do that with the Grow Big Plan uh, with SiteGround. If you're a first time customer, as you can see, you can save big. Right now they have a Cyber Monday um, sale going on. So you have even more of a 85% uh, discount. But even if you're not doing it right now, whenever you're watching this video, typically for first time customers, they usually have pretty big discounts. So just keep that in mind. Um, anyway, so yeah, I definitely recommend the Grow Big Plan and I will leave my affiliate link in the description of this video in case you're thinking about changing your um, hosting. 
And like I said, I really like it. I use it for my website, the site blogger. So, you know, um, I'm talking from, I'm speaking from experience, just so you know. That's it for today's video, and I will see you again soon. Bye.